Question for you. How do you talk about prices and them going up? I mean, let's take my Diet Coke, for example. The cost of this Diet Coke has gone up by at least 50 cents this year. So if you and I were talking about prices, then would you say to me that the Diet Coke has appreciated 50 cents this year? Probably not. That would kind of be dumb. Then why is it that any price gains that we talk about when it comes to real estate are always appreciation? Wouldn't it be fair to say that price gains for real estate are inflation plus appreciation? But real quick, my name is Jeff Chubb, and I'm a retired investment banker turned real estate agent, and I've sold more than a thousand houses. If you have any real estate questions, then no, I am here to help. Now, I think this is the major reason that people are constantly saying there is a bubble in real estate. They see the prices going up and up and up. I mean, it's not just real estate. It's literally all around us. Check this out. It's a bar graph for prices for consumer goods and services in the United States. So should we say that the cost of hospital services have appreciated by 99.8%? Or how about the cost of college appreciating 64.4%? I mean, both are investments, right? One's an investment in our health and the other being an investment in our knowledge and thereby our future earning potential. No, that would be pretty dumb. But let's go back to this graph. The yellow bar is the CPI, or the Consumer Price Index. Since 2008, the CPI, or essentially what we call inflation, has increased by 42.2%. In other words, the dollar that you had in your hand in 2008 is worth 42.2% less than when it was in your hand right now today. But did you notice the bar that was to the left of the CPI chart? It was the cost of housing. The cost of housing has gone up by 48.3%. So when you subtract the devaluation of the dollar and then that means the cost of housing has only outpaced the broader market by 6.1%. You can even make the case that this is the true amount of appreciation that we've seen in the housing market since 2008. Again, there's little doubt that housing prices have gone up by a lot, but so have the costs of our weekly groceries and pretty much every other essential spending that we have. I challenge you to look at the cost of housing and compare the gains to costs of other essential goods and services. There's little doubt that us as a consumer is getting screwed, but that doesn't mean that prices are going to go down or that this is an inflationary bubble. From 2002 to 2007, CPI rose by 14.39%, but in the same five years, home prices went up by 29.17%. In other words, home prices outpaced inflation by 14.78% or 2.96% per year. This is compared to what we have now, where we've outpaced inflation by 6.1% over a 14-year period. So that means since 2009, home prices have outpaced inflation by 0.43% per year. That hardly seems like a bubble to me. Why do I spend so much time on this? It's not because I need to prove that I'm right. It's because so many people are getting so much bad advice. They're sitting on the sidelines trying to time the market perfectly. And while they do that, the opportunity continues to get bleaker and bleaker. I can remember over the years speaking to so many people who said they were going to wait until home prices go down. In 2018, the average price for a house in the United States was $261,600. That was $348,000 at the end of 2022. That's painful. It's a ton of money. And at the end of the day, I think the real issue doesn't come down to prices, but purchasing power. As the value of the dollar depreciates, we as consumers get less and less. So therefore, we need to earn more. Quick question. From January of 2020 to October 2023, have your earnings increased by 34%? Because if not then that means the purchasing power for your labor hasn't kept pace with a higher cost in our economy. And that is the issue. Home ownership isn't becoming unaffordable to more and more Americans. The American dream is dying. Home ownership is becoming a luxury that is only afforded to the well-off. And it's going to get worse and worse. So who's to blame? And that is what we're going to dive into on my next video. Again, my name is Jeff Chubb with the Chubb Home Team. I hope you found this video helpful. Whether you're looking to buy a home in Massachusetts or anywhere else in the country, then it would be a true pleasure to help. Yes, I personally can only help people here in Massachusetts, but I do have expert agents that I work with all over the country, and it would be a true pleasure to make an introduction to you, at no cost to you, obviously. If you have any questions or are interested in buying a new house, then give me a call. Shoot me an email or visit us at youtuberealestateagent.com. You can also find all of our contact information in the description below. Until next time.